Hey all, Heretic here, and in the Battlegrounds today, we're going to be talking about Buddy. Whether you've completed the quest to get buddies, or you're playing ETC and they're popping up every time you hero power, let's go over some of the ones that are good and how to use them. Now in the description below, I'm going to give you a link to a website that has all the buddies, also saying which hero they're attached to in case you have questions about generating who makes what and some weird interactions you might have, just so you can look it up. But the way we're going to have them here is I'm going to go by tier. Now, not quality tier, not my ranking tier, just the tier the buddies are, and then we'll go through them all, the ones that matter. We're going to skip a lot of them, but like I said, the link's here so you can look up the other one. Starting in tier one, we're going to look at Senior Tomb Diver. This is a 4-1 taunt death rattle, make your rightmost minion gold. Well, this is tier one, so you're getting it super early in the game, and anytime you make a minion that early in the game gold, you're getting a lot of value be it somehow where you're farming out extra gold with a corpse refiner, or you have a death rattle minion that's now gonna give you better value when it turns gold. Senior Tomb Diver is an amazing tier one one. It definitely gives you big value and it's always worth looking at if you have anything that gets better by making it gold. Next is the Coil Fang Elite. This tier one, three, four Naga is after a spellcraft minion appears in Bob's Tavern, get a copy of its spell. Folks, this can be your entire build. You get this early enough, you already have a couple Nagas, you literally can just force Naga with this. Now, sometimes it's a trap. I've gotten this thing early, rolled, you just never see Naga in the shop. And other times you have to spend your spellcraft every turn because you get so many spellcraft just by rolling. You can have a turn where if your board's already perfect, you can just roll all your gold and just every time you pass a spellcraft minion, get a bunch of spellcraft. It's pretty phenomenal. Coil Fang Elite, is an amazing tier one, almost as often as it a massive trap. Looking into tier two, we have Apostle of Galacron 2-4 Battlecry, replace minions in Bob's Tavern with one from a higher tier. Well, if you happen to have a shop full of tier twos and you get this thing, pop it down, now you have a shop full of tier threes. Obviously, they're gonna get a big value from that. Always worth buying. Eclipsian Illadari, hope I said that right, tier two, six, three, your first minion that attacks has immune while attacking for one attack only. But basically, whatever minion goes first cannot take damage. Obviously, this is good. It can be the Illidari itself, or it can be any other minion you want to lead with. This is a good minion through the early game, and sometimes even in the late game, the right situations can be super powerful to splash on your board. Probably one of the most broken buddies, the one that drives me the most nuts, is the tier 2, 2-2 two, two undead Mossworn Soul Keeper. Death Rattle summon three random tier one minions. I hate this thing. This thing in the early game gives you way too much value for what it does. I've always felt it's incredibly toxic and it's one of the most common buddies you'll see ETCs slam down immediately as soon as they get it. Because why wouldn't you? It gives you three more tier ones. It has massive value. It is fan damn -tastic. Also, if you manage to get a senior tomb diver, and you have it die and make this thing gold, you summon six minions. God, I hate this thing, but it is really good. Popping into tier three, we look at Lady Sinestra. One six, your minions have plus three attack. That includes Lady Sinestra, so she is a four six. Uh, if you have a bunch of death rattle random summon minions, you just have a few minions. Lady Sinestra giving them three attack across the board really does really good job in the early game. Frost Wolf Lieutenant, and the Stormpike Lieutenant, tier three, seven, four, avenge two minions in the tavern, have plus one attack for the rest of the game. And then tier three, four, seven, avenge two minions in Bob's tavern, have plus one health for the rest of the game. Either one of these can be great if you can use them both at the same time. Why the hell not? But realistically, this is a good set of cards to have either one of or both of when you have a bunch of summons, because you can really superpower your later game shop with either a ton of attack, a ton of health, or both if you're lucky. It's hard to pull off sometimes, but when it works, you really can get out of control. Uh, tier three, 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 Shady Aristocrat is an easy pickup. Battlecry, discover a quest, complete it to get an eight gold coin pouch. These quests are usually not super hard to complete. Usually can get this thing on the board if you have a brand or if you have any way to trigger additional battle cries, you get tons of value. Even if you're just putting down one of these, that battle cry is worth it. And if you can get extra triggers of this thing, complete two or three of these quests in a turn, it is ridiculous. Always take Shady Aristocrat if you're in a good position. Street Magician, tier three, three, five, at the end of your turn, cast a random secret. 
Now this card can be a trap. I like this card, the earlier I can get it, the better. Late in the game, I'm gonna ignore this basically every time, but it gives you a secret. That means it can give you ice block. And it's a 3-5 stat line, which isn't too bad in the early game. And a lot of the secrets are decent. So it depends when you get this. The earlier, the better. Late game, I wouldn't take it unless I was absolutely desperate. And I was just like, I'm shooting just for ice block. It's my only chance. Otherwise, I would only take this in the mid game. Vala Straza. This card is a problem sometimes. This tier three, five, three dragon. Battlecry, add a random dragon of your tavern tier to your hand. Folks, this works with lots of things. Young Murkai, yes. Rylak, yes. Spells that trigger battle cries, yes. Brand, oh my God, yes. Throw this out there, generate dragons, and you're gonna get the ones from that tavern tier. That means if you're sitting in tier four, you can get Peckish Feldrakes. If you're sitting at tier six, yeah, there's only three dragons and you can get any of those three or all of those three, depending how many times you trigger this thing. You really can get some crazy value from utilizing it with a Rylak. This thing is nutty. So if you can get this on your board and you have a Rylak, reborn that thing, go to six and have a good day. Especially when you get to tier four, you start running into a lot of buddies that are situationally good. So we're not gonna cover all of them because we'd be here forever. We're gonna cover the ones that shine more than others and are a little less situational or if when they are situational, it's amazing. And we're gonna start with tier four, eight, four, baby Nazoth. Battle cry, make a friendly death rattle minion gold. You battle cry this to any death rattle you have. It is permanently gold. That means if you can make something have a death rattle, I don't know, say with a surf and surf spell, you can make anything gold. Doesn't have a death rattle? It does now put baby Nazoth on it. Instant amazing value. Any spells that trigger battle cries, pop them on this thing now. Any of your death rattles are gonna get triggered. It only targets friendly ones, so it will never target the shop. So as long as you have ungolden death rattle minions on your board, this thing will buff them. It is amazing. Never pass on this one if you can get any value from it. Tier four, six, three, Bilgewater Mogul. Choose one, give a minion plus one attack for each gold you've spent this turn or plus one health. So to choose one, you can't utilize brand to cheese it anymore. That used to be a thing, but if you've spent a lot of gold, if you're, say, playing, I don't know, an APM board, are you lacking health? Buff your health. Do you need attack? Buff your attack. Versatile. You know how much gold you spent, so you know exactly where you're getting. Phenomenal card. Tier 4, 3, 6, Death's Head Sage. This undead Quillbore is, after you get a blood gem, get an extra one. Are you playing Quillbore? Do you like getting blood gems? How about double the blood gems? However you generate them into your hand, this is gonna give you extra blood gems. You're probably not gonna have enough room in your hand for all the blood gems you'll make, which means you actually need less blood gem generating units to fill your hand, which is phenomenal. Don't worry about having so many cards generating blood gems, just get a couple and get double the gems. This thing is hugely valuable, and if you plan on playing Quillbore in this game, definitely can help you get there. Tier four, one, one beast, Maxwell's mighty steed. Battle cry, add the buddy of your hero power to your hand. Well, if you're paying for this, and let's say you pay three gold, that means even if you get garbage, you're really only paying one gold because you can sell the mighty steed, plus you can sell whatever you generate. Regardless of any effect it gives you, which is usually pretty good, you can get a lot of value out of this. Do you have a brand? It's free, go nuts. You really can do some, some big things with Maxwell. So always, figure out who your buddy is, then play this and get value if it's appropriate. Tier four, three, three, Virus. Battle cry, discover a plain copy of a minion that you have exactly one of. This card is phenomenal. Why? Well, if you have a single copy of a card and in the shop is the pair, when you play this, there's a decent chance it's going to offer you the card that you see in the shop also. So now you have a triple lined up. This card is really good. Uh, word of warning, if you have nothing but pairs, it won't give you anything. So not useful in that one scenario, but once again, boo-hoo. Sounds like you're doing pretty good if you have nothing but pairs or you're so close to doing good. Diving into tier five. We're gonna start with the tier five, three, six beast, baby Kodo, battle cry, refresh Bob's tavern with a minion of each tavern tier. Does it matter what tavern you're at? You can be at tavern one or tavern six. It's gonna give you a shop full of one through six minions. And yes, when tier seven one is in, it would give you one through seven. So obviously this card is very good. Uh, it definitely 
behooves you to pay attention to the shop before you play this, because if you wanted something in that shop, it's gone. It's a refresh. Pay attention, please. But it's going to give you a good chance at finding some direction if you don't have any yet. So Baby Kodo, always a good idea if you're looking for direction. Clockwork Assistant, Tier 5, 3, 3 Mech. Battlecry, discover a minion from a higher tavern tier. Now, if 6 is the highest tavern tier, you're going to get a 6 from this even if you're 6. But who cares? You play this thing, if you have a brand, you're getting extra copies of it. If you have any ways to trigger the minion, you're getting extra copies of it. Clockwork Assistant, phenomenal. Tier 5, 5, 4 Mech, Piloted Whirlatron, one of the most broken buddies you can have. Start of combat, copy all other friendly minions death rattles, except pirated Whirlatron. So this thing has changed a couple times. Originally it was all death rattles, so your opponents also. Now it's just yours, so it works a little better. Obviously, if you're not playing a death rattle build, this isn't useful to you. But if you are, heaven forbid you're a beast board. You now have more triggers of your Goldrin. You now can go completely nuts. Uh, this is a very, very, very good creature. If you are playing Death Rattles, take it every time. Tier 5, 4, 3, Submersible Chef. Battlecry, add a random tier 1, 3, in 5 minion to your hand. Well, if you have to pay for this, it's essentially you making gold because you play it and then you get three more cards. Easy value. Do you have ways to trigger it? Do you have a brand? Make sure there's room in your hand. This card will give you a ton of economy fast. Talent Scout, tier 5, 4, 4, Battlecry, make a buddy golden. If you have any buddies on the board and you'd like it to be golden, Talent Scout is incredibly useful. You don't have buddies? Don't buy this. Don't play this. Otherwise, easy value. Ticket Collector, tier 5, 6, 6, when you sell this, discover a Dark Moon prize from the next prized turn. So that means if you find it on, say, turn 7, it's going to give you the turn 8 one. You play it on turn 12, it's going to give you the turn 14 one, because that's the way it works every four levels. So easy value, the later in the game, the better. Typically, when you're playing this, you're getting the better ones. Anyways, you're at least getting a 12, if not a 16. So easy value used to be a battle cry. It's a discover now because it was just too good as a battle cry. This one is always worth taking if unless your board's phenomenal, just because that power it can give you from the late game tickets is pretty good. The next buddy, I don't know if he's actually in the game in any way, shape, or form, but I always have to mention him because his name's phenomenal and it's just fun. Tier 5, 7, 5, Elemental Dragon, Waxadred the Drippy. Battle Cry, Refresh Bob's Tavern with the highest tier minion from each opponent's Warbit. Yes, whatever their higher tier minions are, the, you get a copy sitting in the shop. So, obviously, the later in the game you can play this is good. Not too late, but like, you know, sitting around like turn, say, 9 and 10 when you see two or three people have tier 6 minions, you slam this thing down. It's really good. Maybe only one of your opponents has a tier 6, but you already know it's a really good one. You play this, now you've got a copy too. I don't know if it's currently in the game. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I want it to be. Wax and Dread is just fun and a good card to boot, so I can't really go wrong. And finally, the only tier six buddy, tier six, 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 the Thanos Blight Caller Undead, Battle Cry, remove a friendly minion, give its stats to its neighbor. Hey, is your Peckish Feldrake like a 480, 1200? Target it, both of the neighbors next to it will gain those stats. You have a brand, it will trigger twice. If you golden it, it's already giving double the stats. So if you have a brand, double the stats, do it twice. Nathanos, when you are playing the right board, is amazing. Yeah, you're playing an undead board, you have a bunch of weenie horde minions which is high attack and no health, you don't care. Playing a big demon board, playing a giant murloc board, how would you like to have double the stats? This thing is nuts. Nathanos Black Collar, depending on your build, is almost always good. There's very few scenarios where it's not. Definitely consider taking this, especially if you have a brand. It gives you really big value. Now that's it. That's the buddies we're going to cover today. I know there's a lot I didn't cover because it's just so many. I covered them all. We'd be here well over an hour. And some of them are just kind of really niche. It is pretty obvious when you should be using them, I would expect. If you have one that I didn't think of that you have a question about, please feel free to post it in the comments below. We'll, I'll respond and we can talk about that particular buddy, but these are the most impactful ones, at least I feel consistently. I'm sure there's something I missed, but these are the ones I like to use and I see used a whole lot for maximum value. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a few things. Hey, if you did, please consider hitting like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please leave a comment below. All that stuff helps the channel grow. 
And if you're having more fun with the game by watching this, then hey, please do that so more people can find the channel. We can grow and have more fun doing this. Thanks again, all. I love doing this. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the battlegrounds. Until then, have a great day. Later.